So where does the Easter egg come from? It is a Christian tradition that, well, it appears to have more pagan origins than we would like to think. Eggs have been used as symbols of rebirth for a long time. Ostrich eggs have been crafted with gold and silver, and they were used by ancient religions in Africa, Samaria, and Egypt, even in the Mediterranean. Eggs have also been decorated to represent the rebirth of the Iranian New Year at the time of spring equinox for thousands of years. Back in 325 AD at the Council of Nicaea, the Roman Catholic Church had already noted that people were abstaining from eggs during Lent. Why did we stop eating eggs at Lent? In the 1300s, the medieval theologian Thomas Aquinas put it this way. Again, the Lenten fast is the most solemn of all, both because it is kept in imitation of Christ and because it disposes us to celebrate devoutly the mysteries of our redemption. For this reason, the eating of flesh meat is forbidden. Okay, that's not eggs, but over time, as they were associated with animals, eggs and dairy became included. Up until the 4th century, Lent was never more than a week and it was more for penance as preparation for Easter. The 40 days was more for those to be baptised as this happened at Easter each year. Over time, everyone just wanted to join in the tradition and of course, as very sensible people went about to abstain from something, we eat as much as we can in a day and make the celebration out of it. This gave us rise to Shrove Tuesday, which is Pancake Day, and using up as many eggs as possible. The day is also called Fat Tuesday, or in French, Mardi Gras. Easter Sunday is not only the celebration of Christ rising from the dead, it is also the end of Lent, and everyone was able to eat eggs again. And to celebrate this, they decorated them and gave them out as gifts at Easter. There is also a couple of legends that I have no idea where they came from involving Mary Magdalene. According to one, she brought a basket of cooked eggs to share with another woman at Jesus' tomb. And when they saw the risen Christ, they turned red. Another one was that Mary Magdalene, after Christ ascended into heaven, she went before the Roman emperor and greeted him with the words, Christ has risen. The emperor pointed to an egg on his table and said, Christ has no more risen than this egg is red, upon which the egg turned blood red. Of course, as most legends go, there aren't any credible sources for these. Today, they have become one of the symbols of Easter. It is also a symbol representing the sealed tomb of Christ, and the cracking of egg represents Christ's resurrection from the dead. They were by tradition red, representing the blood of Christ. They also represented the rebirth of Christ, rising from death. Today, with hollow chocolate eggs, they are even better symbols for the open tomb when cracking a hole in them. And like Christ's tomb, they don't last long. Go do something awesome for God, and I'll catch you in the next one.